I am here at the Preachers of LA with the one and only pastor. Abram B. Dixon. Dixon in the house. What's going on? What is going on? This is a really a great surprise. This is crazy. This event is crazy. Traffic is crazy. Preachers of LA have shut the city down. It's shut down. Oh, I'm glad we came on the right time. Right there, we have Lisa Rone running things, making us look good and everything. Hey, Lisa. And actually, Lisa is how I met Pastor Dixon. Yes. So now, wait, let's let's talk about this docu series, not a reality show, because I was checked by Pastor McClendon. Uh, why should people watch this show, especially with some of the controversial clips that have come out? Uh, I mean, I'm hoping that this show would show the other side of the men and women of God that labor before you every day. Uh, one of the things that we need to show the world is that we are people too. We go through the same problems on a daily basis. We have the same struggles. We live in the same environment that you live in. Uh, just getting the same trouble. Getting the same trouble. Amen. Need the same bucket of blood that you need. And I think that it shows a sensitive side. It shows a side of men and women of God that are not in the pulpit on a daily basis, how we interact with our families, uh, how we interact with uh, bills and responsibilities that we have, the same things that members have, but they get to see a personal side of a man or woman of God, in this case, all men. And I hope that you will look at it and not judge, but get what the message is. The message is that we're people too, Secondly, we need the blood on our lives just like everybody else. We have struggles just like everybody else. We live in a conducive environment where people are trying to pull you down just like you. And the difference is that you hold us at a higher standard because we are men of God, but God sees us as vessels. And none of us are perfect. Bishop Jones said something very profound. He said, uh, in the old church, they just say, Lord, I'm trying to make 100 because 99 and a half won't do. The key is trying to make 100. And just like the members in the pew, they're trying to make 100, so are the pastors, so are the people that feed you every week. And it doesn't negate the fact that we're still God's chosen vessels to share his word. So I hope that you'll uh, watch this uh, series and this documentary, and, and you'll look at it in the eyes of entertainment, of course, but get the personal message out of it. And, and, and I hope that you won't prejudge these men of God because I know all of them, they're, uh, they, they're great men of God. I've been in the room with them. I've been at the man cave with them. And I tell you, they are true men of God and they're living what they preach. You heard the sermon here on gospelrisons.com. I feel like taking up a collection. You got some money to give me? No. <laughs> give me um, a wait, 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 wait. If you want to send any tithes and offering. Wait, wait, to renew? <laughs> Listen, oh, your show you gotta is give, crazy. Wait, wait, you, wait, you got to give your, your house of worship a shout out. Uh, if you need a place to worship, 9 a.m. Renewed Mind Ministry, 6825 Crenshaw Boulevard. That's 68. 25 Crenshaw Boulevard in the city of Los Angeles. Until we meet again, may God richly bless you and heaven smile upon you.